Today's video, we're going to be hopefully repairing the P0457 leak. It's to do with your gas cap being loose on a Ram truck. Let's get into it. <music> So as mentioned, we're gonna try to fix this. I've kind of done a little bit of investigation before this video and I'll get into that. So I have the dreaded P0457 on my truck and I did a few things. I changed the gas cap, I put a brand new Mopar cap on, still didn't go away. I also happen to have one of these solenoids that goes under the hood which is the other side of the system uh, i had it from my hellcat engine that was just sitting here so i swapped it out with the hellcat one which is the same part number but i put that on still the same issue so you also see that i have this here this was from the hellcat as well but it's slightly different so i wasn't able to test that but i got the correct one for this truck and i'll show you guys here so i will link this down in the description below uh before i post this video i'm gonna make sure that this fixes the issue but i'm gonna show you guys how to replace it um i'll test it out for a few days hopefully everything gets fixed and then um i can you know complete this video for you guys with accuracy so here it is here like i said i'll link this down in the description below it was about 20 dollars uh there's a doorman part so you can see here it's got our plug and that there it also comes with a gasket i did open the box just before this video because i was told that um the gaskets for some reason in, the, in their packaging they stretch they give you a new o-ring but they stretch it like way over here so uh, i removed it just before and it's already returned to its original shape so that was a lot of um that was a lot of comments that i saw when i bought it off amazon anyways this is the part here i'll show you the difference not that it really matters to you guys that much but see how i was trying to use the Hellcat one, but the plug is on the opposite side. So I wasn't able to use it and test it. So I had to go ahead and purchase one. So we'll pop underneath the truck. It's a lifted truck, so it's a little bit easier to get underneath, but um, we'll go ahead and swap it out. So once you're into the truck, like I said, you may have to lift up your truck, but if it's lifted or if you can squeak in here, but here's your rear diff, here's your gas tank. And right here is where that part is. So see it right there with the plug. That's the part that we have to remove. It's super quick to remove, so we'll do that now. Okay, so here's the part. You're gonna unplug right here. So wiggle our connector off. Then you're gonna see this rubber hose. So there's that out of our way. And then on the bottom, there's a little tab. So you kind of just squeak your hand on the bottom and then you're gonna turn this thing. You're gonna lift the tab. And what I mean by that is this tab right here, you just squeeze in on it. So if it's facing like this, you put your hand underneath and you can get to this tab. So you just squeeze it in so you can rotate it. And then you turn it, not even 90 degrees, maybe like 45 degrees and then it pops out like that. So, so now you can see there is a gasket right here, which ours is pretty collapsed. So. I wouldn't be surprised if it's even just a gasket issue, but there's the old gasket. It's actually a square gasket compared to the round one that's supplied with the Dorman kit. So we'll put in our new O-ring right there. So there's a new O-ring gasket. We'll take this, install it on a 45, and then we're gonna turn it. So there we go, we're gonna turn it until you hear it click, so it's latched on. And this is a lot more snug setup, you guys, than the last one. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but it seems like a much better seal. We'll put our rubber hose on here, reconnect our clip, and that's it. So this is the message or indication that I kept getting. Check fuel cap. There's a little uh, light there and then I get this visual on my screen. So that was the issue that we're trying to resolve. Let's see if that fixes it. All right, so hopefully you guys can see I've got this P0456 as well, fuel system small leak. 
So right now we're going to clear the fault. And we'll keep an eye on this. Okay, so we cleared the check engine light that was associated with this, but this little image and that, I guess, is apparently going to be shown with most code readers, you know, clearing the codes. This little image and stuff is going to be shown until you go through a few drive cycles. So until you drive it, start it, stop it a bunch of times, and then this thing will go away. So we'll uh, keep an eye on it, and um, hopefully this all goes away for us. All right guys, so it's a few days later. Like I said, I wanted to make sure that we weren't gonna have any issues and I'm happy to report that we no longer have that gas cap off indication on our dash. No more codes, no more check engine light. So I'm gonna show you guys that and I'll also reread the codes to show you guys that we don't have an issue. Okay, so here's the truck. We'll go inside. I'll do a scan on it, show you guys we don't have any more codes and uh, show you guys the dash. Okay, so here we go guys code reader is reading and you can see on my dash no stored messages and that little light that was on here before where it showed that the gas cap was off or to check gas cap is no longer there okay so hopefully you guys can see this now no trouble codes are detected no pending codes and no permanent codes so before we had the permanent code uh, for the gas cap and that's all gone now so that's it she's fixed and I'll show you guys one more thing too. I'll show you guys this quickly so you guys will probably have your engine cover on but see this right here this is the other part of the evap system so just so you guys aren't throwing parts at this thing uh trying to fix the code see this uh module right here if you disconnect it i'll show you guys over here because i have a second one um something to do with that where you can check that to make sure that is not your problem before you buy that other part that we installed what you can do here is i mean it sounds a little bit ridiculous but you kind of just if you put your mouth on it and try to blow either direction make sure that you can't pass air through this thing because if this thing allows like if it's has a little bit of a leak like if you blow on it and you feel air coming out either side that can be your issue so it doesn't it's free to check this before you go replacing that part so i checked mine and i even swapped out the one with the hellcat one uh from our hellcat swap just to make sure it wasn't the issue but that's how you can do a simple check on this to make sure this is not the issue so there's kind of just two parts to the whole system there's that sensor i just showed you and then the one that we replaced on the tank so there has to be a leak between the two for it to throw that code so you can check that one under the hood make sure it's good before you go ordering the one underneath either that or you have a line maybe broken or pinched or something like that that could be throwing the error or it could be the gas cap but i do have a new gas cap on there and it didn't fix it it was the sensor that is attached to the tank that was the issue so that is all fixed i hope it helps you guys in your repairs leave a comment down below uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video we'll see you guys on the next one